Hey YouTube, it's Share Glam here with another video. This one is gonna be a little bit out of my comfort zone. It is a tag video. I don't really like doing tag videos because I don't know if I have the personality for it. I don't know if you guys are really even interested to know about what I like and all that. It's kind of foreign to me, but I've decided to go ahead and try this video for you guys today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the questions. Here we go. What is one thing you cannot leave the house without? Oh, one thing that I can't leave my house without, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's definitely my phone. I am 100% addicted to my phone. It is always with me. I'm always on it. I'm always using it. Everything is stored on my phone. If I don't have my phone, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so honest with you. I would be like five minutes from my job and I'm like, hold up. No, where's my phone? I will go back home for it. I'll be looking at it. I'll be like, all right. All right. <laughs> you know, you got to check your social media and that's what I be doing. So, yeah, I can't be without my phone ever. Like, that's one thing that I definitely cannot leave the house without. What is your favorite brand of makeup? So a lot of people would obviously think that my favorite brand of makeup is a MAC, especially because this video I'm wearing Magenta lip liner from MAC. I'm wearing Riri Boy, which is Rihanna's uh, collection from MAC. But to be completely honest with you, I really don't have a favorite. I use everything. And when I say use everything, I use everything from MAC. I use Smashbox. I use Stila. I use NARS. I use L'Oreal. I use CoverGirl. I mean, the list goes on and on. I use everything. Like, I don't really have a favorite. I would say that... My favorite makeup will be anything that's pigmented. I can't tell you a brand because I don't have a favorite brand, but my favorite makeup is makeup in general that is pigmented. I do not like buying makeup and the pigmentation is not good. Like that is a pet peeve of mine. So I don't have a favorite brand, but I do like pigmented makeup. All right, next question. What is your favorite flower? I don't really like flowers. I don't have a favorite. I don't like flowers like that. They they grow and they look pretty. You pluck them and they die. Like, And I personally, I don't know. I've, I've never been a flower girl. I, I don't know. Flowers, hmm, if, I have, if I was forced to pick a flower and I wanted my boo to give me some flowers, It'll probably be roses. I mean, you know, like calla lilies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, calla lilies are, are nice. They look nice. Um, <laughs> Roses or calla lilies, I guess. Next question. What are your favorite clothing stores? Favorite clothing stores. I'm glad this question came up. I am, as you can see, a plus size girl. Ain't nothing wrong with being plus size, but there's nothing wrong with looking outside of the box as well for clothing. You don't have to go to your typical Lane Bryant, and you don't have to go to your typical Ashley Stewart, the dress barn, to get clothes being plus size. There's other places like Torrid. There's H&M has a plus size section. Forever 21 has plus size. There's low name brands like Rainbows and Dots and Conway and Pretty Girl to get your things. I like shopping at those places. I like going online to shop, definitely, like places like ASOS. Don't sleep on Target. Don't sleep on Walmart. There's some pretty um, nice finds there as well. So, I mean, there's a ton of places that I like to go to shop, and I'm actually going to do a video on my favorite um, fall, ple fall pieces coming soon and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna be rocking for the fall and the fall trends that I'm loving so stay tuned for that video next question what is your favorite perfume I really don't have a favorite perfume I I'm, I'm not really a girl that sticks to one thing I like to experience different things I like to look at different things. I'm not really a fan of 
just having one specific thing constantly or being consistent with one specific thing. I'm not really a flower scent girl. I like fruity scents. So um, I do like DKNY, the green apple. I do like all of Britney Spears' perfumes. I like Beyonce's heat perfume. I love Chloe and Lamar's fragrance as well. I absolutely love Unbreakable. I love that scent. It's not my favorite, but I love it. I love Red Jeans by Versace. I love Guilty by Gucci. Um, so there's a ton of fragrances that I love. But if I had to wear something every single day, it'll probably be one of Britney Spears' perfumes. I like the fruity scents that she has. Um, but I, I wear different things for day and night. I feel like day scents and night scents are... Are completely different so it depends on where I'm going what the atmosphere is about that's gonna make me change what perfume I'm wearing I don't know about you guys but that's kind of how I I am so um next question heels or flats I love to buy heels I love to look at heels I don't like to walk in them I love to walk in flats not a fan of how they look so if I have to pick heels or flats it's going to be heels um, because the pros of heels are better. I'm a short girl. I am bite size <laughs> or fun size, however you call it. So I think that heels definitely give me the height that I want. And, um, I, it's festive. It's dressy. You can turn an outfit from casual to dressy and chic with a pair of heels. So heels definitely. Do you make good grades? Absolutely. I make excellent grades. Making good grades is really important. You want to be able to get a great job after school, um, whether you decide to get a job after high school or you decide to further your education and go to college. It's definitely really important to have good grades. Right now, companies are looking for the best grades to hire someone with a great salary and the lower grade you have, the less opportunity you have for a job. So it's important to make good grades. And yes, I do make great grades. What's your favorite color? I love purple. <laughs> I love the color purple. I love all different types of shades of purple. I love black. So if I had to choose... Um, my favorite colors, it'd be purple, black, yeah. Those are the two colors that I love the most. Those are my favorite colors. Next question. Do you drink energy drinks? Absolutely not. I do not drink energy drinks at all. I'm not a fan of energy drinks. I tried it one time in my life and I thought it was just completely disgusting. I don't like the taste of it. I'm naturally bubbly. <laughs> what I want to be, I'm naturally on point, on cue, bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I am. So I don't need energy drinks. But um, no, I, I don't drink energy drinks. I don't really like them. I think they're disgusting. And I turn up on my own. So I don't need energy drinks anyway. Do you drink juice? Yes, I drink juice. My favorite juice is, I have three favorite juices, and I, I only really drink three different kinds of juice. Apple juice, cranberry juice, and grape juice. Those are the three juices I drink. I really don't like to drink anything else. Um, if I do, it's on an occasion, but water is definitely the fave. I love water, even though it's not juice. Do you like swimming? Yes, I love swimming. I live for the days I can be in the pool. I can be by the beach. I love swimming. Am I an excellent swimmer? No, but I love to be in the pool anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Do you eat fries with a fork? Yes, I'm guilty of that. I eat fries with a fork when I'm with my family. My family eats fries with forks. However, when I'm by myself or I'm with my friends and it's, it's a casual setting, you know, I pick up a french fry with my hand and, you know, but <laughs> most of the times I eat fries with a fork. What's your favorite moisturizer? 
Um, right now I'm loving the proactive moisturizer. I use that sometimes. Um, also I've been using the Clinique, the Clinique three step moisturizer. I really, really love that as a moisturizer. It, it works wonders for the skin and I have pretty good skin. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Do you want to get married later on in life? I would love to get married in the near future. The near future. Hint, hint, hubby. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yes, I would love to. Maybe I'm not joking. Now, I would love to get married in the near future. Definitely. Do you get mad easily? No. It takes a lot. It takes so much for me to get upset. I really don't get upset that easily. But when I'm upset, I'm upset. But it takes me a really long time to get to that point. So, yeah. Are you into ghost hunting? Ain't nobody got time to be looking for no type of ghost. No, I don't. Absolutely not. Do you have any phobias? If I had phobias, would I be telling you so you can try to punk me? I don't think so. <laughs> no, um, I don't have any phobias. Nah. But even if I did have a phobia, I mean, I wouldn't tell you. Because I be I see, like, when you are on TV or shows and they ask you if you have phobias or you are scared of anything. or And then they bring up exactly what you're scared of to kind of, you know? Nah, I wouldn't tell you if I had one anyway. So, sorry. Do you bite your nails? I used to bite my nails. It's a nasty habit. I used to bite them when I was nervous or scared about something, but no, nah, I don't do it anymore. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Yes. Will I talk about it ever? No. Next question. Do you drink coffee? I have dabbled in the caffeine with the coffee once or twice or thrice. All right, guys, so this has reached the end of the video and my camera died. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, bye, Glamazons.